One thing I get a lot of questions about, um, a lot of follow-up questions to an uh, article I did a while back about uh, making your own jigs and pouring your own jigs is how I actually tie them. It's a real simple process. It's actually pretty economical. Um, something that I do um, a lot, quite a bit in the winter. And then um, also throughout the season, if I'm finding uh, jigs that I don't have many of, is really working well. I can tie up pretty much any pattern I want. So a few things you'll need uh, to kind of get started. Uh, simple tie vise. Uh, this is just a real simple heavy duty one from Cabela's, about a $40 deal. Um, so nothing, uh, r real big investment there. Obviously you'll need uh, a thread bobbin. This is a type E thread, a little heavier duty thread. And then uh, your rubber tabs whatever colors you uh, typically like to use. And then uh, some jig heads. So I've got a couple of different heads here. Um, you can kind of see uh, my typical unpainted head here. And then I'm actually tying up, today I'll be tying up some uh, chatterbait heads. So just kind of get started. Um, take the jig, put it in the vise. I, I like to do uh, hook down in my vise, uh, saves the fingers a little bit. Um, get it in there pretty snug because I do like to uh, uh, brunch on the vise pretty pretty good to kind of get my knot started. So first thing I'm going to take uh, take the jig, do a couple of real simple overhand knots uh, to wrap around the jig. Um, this kind of gets the the jig started. Um, you always like to lay a, a nice base layer of thread, so I'll do a starter starter layer of about uh, four or five wraps and then kind of cut my end. That just gets it started. It gives it something for that rubber to, to grab to, to cinch to, rather than right against that lead. I found if you, uh, if you don't do that starter layer and you uh, start to lay your rubber on, and start to tie tie your uh, your tabs on there. Um, it it'll actually cut right through that uh, piece. So um, if you're looking at uh, this is a, today, I'm doing a kind of a shad pattern. And um, you look at any fish, bait fish in particular. Um, generally, they are uh, darker from the top and work their way lighter. So. I'm going to start with, uh, always start with your accent colors here. I'm just tying a simple black on is my, uh, my base black top layer. So every time I add a, a layer of, or a tab, I always do uh, three or four wraps. So this is about a half, half tab of black. Then I'm just going to lay on and accent color, a little bit of a flash. This is just a crystal colored rubber flash. So again, two, three wraps. Just to kind of get it to set in the correct spot. And then the final layer, I'm just going to do a full tab of white. It's a little bit of trick with this head. You kind of got to make sure you're laying it uh, across the jig and tying it uh, so that loop gets real tight. And this finishing loop, I like to really snug down pretty tight. Um, just kind of doing about five to six wraps on here. And then the finishing knot, uh, some people get pretty technical with the finishing knot. I just do a simple, I think they call it just a half hitch. So all I'm doing is just taking the line, doing a single twist, and then snugging it right on the jig itself. And I usually do uh, two of those. Um, the thing with this knot is it will slip, um, but the real key is uh, use a little bit of head cement. Um, that's going to soak right into that uh, thread, pretty much make that knot slip free. So I do a little bit of that before I trim, just a little dab of head cement. Turn the thread off. Then while I've got it in the vise, I always trim right in the vise. It tends to help stabilize that. So, you know, just starting with the rubber. 
this first set of cuts I'm not really uh, doing the finishing cuts of, of what I what that profile I want to look like I'm more or less just uh, stretching out this rubber just to get get it to separate just kind of working through these tabs as I see them on here It looks like I got them all there. Now that uh, I've got them all, I'll pull it from the vise. Generally, I like to uh, hold it up, just kind of take a quick look at it, make sure I've got everything. And as you can see, you can start to see, you know, some of the strands are longer than the others. So this is when I'll make kind of that profile cut. Now, I don't like to go straight across. Some guys do. Um, but if you look at bait fish in general, they usually uh, obviously start skinny and taper towards the back. So I'm just going to kind of do a pretty similar taper to that. So there's kind of the finished jig. Nice uh, little black on the top. Gives it that uh, the crystal in there gives it a little flash and then the white base and then before uh, it's totally finished I'll add the blade I'll glue in some eyes and then we're ready to fish so pretty simple process any questions uh, we'll put my email up here you can shoot me an email uh, contact classic bass um, thanks for watching